Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I've just been mucking around on the bench today with the lawn store and one of the functions I wanted to muck around with was the adapter to use the EEPROMs so that you could actually read the EEPROMs from the ECU of the car and then blow it down. Now it does have some sort of functions there so the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to put a, a chip, a transponder chip in the actual hole right here, go to read and then go over to the adapters and basically the EEPROM adapter and then see if that key was stored in the memory and I could just blow it down to the to the uh, to the chip but unfortunately um, it didn't work so what actually happens is when that you read and generate or identify a chip yes it does read and generate um, but it doesn't actually communicate with the EEPROM EEPROM adapter so for example when some cars you actually read the pin code first thing you do is it uh, has a few options it says read the pin code or tra program transponder so most of the time you go read pin code next step you go tra program transponder and when you do them in order what actually happens is that pin code that it just read actually when you need to insert it actually inserts it for you because there's some sort of memory saying look I just read this pin code for this um, Citron and then when you go to program it that pin code is there that you last read so I wanted to find out if you read a transponder when you go to the uh, hex editor or the EEPROM adapter will it retain that information from the key and get ready to create a bin file using that information as the, where the Tango can do that uh, no it didn't this particular one it didn't at all so they're two different functions not talking to each other and this creates a little bit of a problem because when you go to this um, EEPROM adapter yes you can read what is actually on the car's um, SOIC little tiny chip but then you get to the next problem of when you want to edit it see this machine here it doesn't have where you add a key so let's say that you read the little tiny chip and then you want to add a key in the in the hex in the hex editor basically you'd need to read the read the bin file from the chip then go into here open it up and then add your key but because it's not as simple as just adding the key you need to add it in the right locations and things like that some of the tools actually do add it in the right location or they or they can read it and then allow you to put a chip in here and then just push uh, create and that will create that chip using the data from the hex file so my question was today on this particular tool since I haven't been able to do any of the other procedures that um, the Tango has or any of the other key machines have how do I, if it's got an adapter for the SOIC, how do I use it? So my conclusion was that it's got this SD card in the back. So what is what I did is I took my laptop, here it is here, I took that and I took about, oh, I don't know, three, four hundred meg of virgin files which are all labelled and I put them on an SD card and then onto a micro SD card, I slid it in the back. Now my question is, now that I've got all my virgin files, if I bring up the right virgin file, then I can pretty much just, I should be able to write it back to the car's ECU using, uh, not the hex editor, but using the adapter function, EEPROM. I should be able to go in here, open up a file, and then send it back down to the car. So I would uh, uh, write. So I'd select the file, and write it down to the chip but the problem is that uh, this particular machine won't allow you to do it so this whole idea of having an SD card at the back is kind of useless from what I can see as far as doing this particular function so if I go hex editor and I'll show you what I mean hex editor open file so I have storage SD card 0 and if I go custom file it's basically an internal memory. If I go file, it's another internal memory. And when I go file, there's all these features here. But not, not all of them are actually full of anything. So basically, I can't read that SD card on the back there. Although that's got all my version files in it, I can't read it. If I could read it, then I could actually bring them up and I could start to use it. This is the problem that I'm facing. So 
as where I can read the chip from the car's computer and I can display the text here unless I'm ready to start editing that on a job um, which can be done but you have to be reasonably familiar about it and know where the buffer points are and know where the actual coding is for example uh, let's just bring up a file here's one here uh, that's not a good example that's all effed out uh, let's bring up a, a, another one this might be okay okay so there's a file with some sort of coding in it doesn't normally look like that there's a couple of bytes here there's a couple of bytes here there's all bytes here so they're all over the place very hard to sort of just you know throw them in and know exactly what you're doing some people can they're very familiar with it I can't so my whole point of this is is that if I'm gonna send a file to this machine then I can simply use the actual adapter to blow it down to the car's computer which will make it a function then it will work because then I'm, I'm sending a virgin file which I've stored on my SD card down the back I'm sending that which is just going to use this as an EEPROM programmer basically and just program that chip but unfortunately I can't import any files onto this machine which makes all of this kind of useless I mean it really just makes it useless I can't even take the files off so let's put this into context if I was to use EEPROM adapter and I'll show you what it looks like okay here it is here if I was to use this EEPROM, EEPROM adapter go onto the car's computer okay and get the information and now the information which is on that little tiny chip which looks like this little tiny chip if the information then is on my tablet I can't then send that to another computer, I can't take it off this computer, I can't do anything. The only thing I can do is go to the hex editor. Now if I bring up that hex, I can't compare it against any other virgin files to see what's missing. I can't even load virgin files on the SD card and, and use my EEPROM programmer built into this machine to write it back down. So I'm at a loss to how I can actually use all of this. Um, here's the adapter and all this sort of stuff. I mean, if I can't put the files on it, how can I use it? The only thing I can literally do is um, use a different EEPROM programmer, read it, okay, and then I could go in here and manually write what I want in the hex editor, save it, and then send it down using the EEPROM programmer function. So, I mean, to be honest with you, that, that's a lot of work. Let's just see if I can bring up a file to show you. Okay, so that's a very, very simple one. I don't even know if that's uh, related to a car. Let's see if I can find a decent file here. Okay, this file is blank. All right, so basically, cut a long story short, um, you know, you, if you're going to use an EEPROM programmer, you want a good EEPROM programmer. This particular one here and this particular method here, I can't take it. I can't take files off. I can't put files on. I can't compare. Uh, there's so many functions there that I'm just missing out on. I'm trying to use it. So I think it's a bit of a hit and miss. And I don't see myself using that at all. Next thing I was a bit... Um, upset about was that it didn't have like a, a key making function where I could put that chip in there and basically push a button and then it would enter the data into the necessary spots so then I could press write it would write it down to the chip none of that kind of exists on this machine at the moment so as far as key making in that particular method looks like the Tango and other machines still have the and the Z full and all the others still have the monopoly as for a simple uh, hundred dollar EEPROM programmer well I can take my virgin files and I can write them down using that as where I can't on this because I have no way of importing and exporting files so that's a bit annoying also when I go to the home page I want to see something like file manager because I've actually got images of the ECUs on this SD card as well and what better than when you come across a car to actually have a look to see what right chip it is on this SD card I could be pulling up all those images saving me a lot of time knowing exactly what chip just on the one handheld tablet if I was to try and do that I mean I don't know uh, you know if it'll actually how will it work uh, if you were to sort of plug it in have it in line and go straight on the chip and keep it plugged in and all the rest like I mean it would be nice if I could just plug all of this together pull the car's computer out, leave it plugged into the car, go straight over the top, hit a few buttons, did that work? No. Hit a few more, did that work? No. That would be nice, but that's a bit unrealistic considering a lot of things um, 
like the clock and the uh, in in circuit programming is not for all all particular chips so you know you still need to pull it out pull it on the bench but on saying this how good is this special adapter function it ain't worth nothing to me absolutely nothing I can't import files I can't export files and I can't even put in a transponder and the machine work out the data and put it back in a bin file so I can blow it down to the computer so you know it's going to be o it's going to be for obd only and this little uh, thing i'll probably carry around forever and it's probably i'm probably never going to get any use out of it because at the moment i just can't see any practical way of doing what you need to be doing with car immobilizers using this kit i just can't can't kind of see it i mean some of the other more advanced models like volvos subarus maybe it's kind of different maybe it's already got the virgin files in there and if it's already got the virgin file in there and you can find it and you can just send it one to the other then that's good but the question is sometimes sometimes you have to make maybe a virgin file sometimes you have to alter a virgin file um you know you really just can't you really just can't it's, it's not as easy as just a, a simple eprom programmer so anyway um that's my whinge i mean what the only real thing i can do from it is i can read the chip and i can get the data off and knowing where i can go into the eprom programmer just my hundred dollar one work out the the hex and the buffing and all that from that as we're here i can save the files on the internal hard drive but i can't import so i think that's a big thumbs down anyway if i'm missing something here or i've said it wrong um, or you know different to i do or i don't even have a module or something that's making all this not work for me and you know more please leave it down in the description because uh, i'm probably not the first person to ask these type of questions okay thanks for watching